it means the world to me to have child care because without child care, I would not be able to come to work. Working in a hospital makes Lori an essential worker during this pandemic. She's grateful her daycare center, Jumpin' Jacks in Paramus, has stayed open even as many daycares closed their doors. Governor Murphy initially allowed daycares to stay open despite concerns kids could spread the virus. Now the governor's changed course. I have signed an executive order directing all child care centers statewide that wish to continue operating to certify by this Friday, March 27th, that they will solely serve the children of essential workers. Those that do not certify that they can and will exclusively care for these children must close by Wednesday, April 1st. Daycares need to register with the Department of Children and Families. The governor's been hesitant to close centers because it could leave emergency workers without child care and stuck at home. We need all of our frontline workers on the job, helping us to get through this emergency. A lack of child care cannot be a barrier for them or our response. It is absolutely critical that we are all doing our job. Jumpin' Jacks has gotten negative feedback for remaining open, but its director, Deanna Smith, says they're providing crucial care for 10 kids of first responders. We're trying to do our part for the community in order to um, keep everything running as best as possible. And because these kids potentially have greater exposure to COVID, safety is the first priority. Anybody who enters our facility has to have their temperature taken and it has to be in an acceptable range. Um, we have plenty of hand sanitizer available. Uh, we have staff that comes in solely just to clean and disinfect our facility. The executive order will allow centers that have already closed to reopen, something Winifred Smith Jenkins is considering for her 380 centers, but she's calling for the state to better support those that do register. They should be treated as medical facilities. I mean, employees will need gloves, they will need masks, they will need uh, bleach, they will need uh, toilet paper. Um, and so they're gonna really have to put a lot more reg regulations in place to make sure that you're keeping everyone safe and healthy. The head of Advocates for Children of New Jersey, Cecilia Zalkind, recommends looking to other states like Oregon and Massachusetts that have already put new safety protocols in place. Reducing the class size, um, ensuring that centers have the supplies they need to keep the centers clean, um, and that there's some guidance as to how they can safely provide child care. Massachusetts set a limit of six kids per child care worker. They've also looked at the size of centers. Is there enough space for children to be? Areas can be set up that are more spacious than usual. And with about 15,000 square feet of space inside, Jumpin' Jacks could easily take on about 100 more kids whose parents are working on the front lines. In Paramus, I'm Joanna Gagas, NJTV News.